Hello everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have an Easter tabletop decor piece for you today. The tools that you're going to be needing are your glue gun and glue sticks, a pencil and a good pair of scissors, some Mod Podge, a brush, and a cup. You're going to need an X-Acto or utility knife and some sandpaper. And you're going to need some of the large craft sticks. The materials that you're going to be needing are some decorative paper. I'm going to be using this pad. It is Romantic Garden. You can pick this up at Michael's. I got it on sale for $4.99 a book. It is the Craft Smart Paper Pad Romantic Garden. I will have the SKU number for this book in the description box. You're going to need some apple barrel paint in burnt umber. You can get this from Walmart. A two ounce bottle is only 50 cents. And you're going to need a little bit of water to thin it down. And you're going to need one solo little white pom-pom. You're also going to need one of these wood cutouts from the Dollar Tree. You're going to need one package of the Color Your Own ornaments in the eggs. You're going to need one package of moss. A package of the faux moss stones. And then you're going to need uh, some rocks and one of these containers from the Dollar Tree. If you don't have one of these metal containers or you can't find it at your Dollar Tree, you can also use one of the long plastic ones that they have. That'll work too. You're also going to need a block of foam and the rocks are used to weigh this down. So they don't have to be decorative. You can just go in your backyard and grab some rocks from your yard and put in there. Just something to help weigh it down. And then you're going to need a little bit of greenery. I chose this one, it's just called floral. And then I grabbed a little bit of baby's breath. And then this one is just called Blooming Branches. It has the dark branches and like a little mini cattail there on the end. And then this is called Spike. And then you'll also need one of the large wood egg cutouts from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using this one. I've already gone ahead and decorated this one. I do have a video showing you how to do this. I will link it at the end. You can do it solid, and if you're just going to go ahead and do a solid color uh, paper over it, then uh, this video will cover what you need. If you want to do all the different types of paper, the other video will show you step by step on how to do this. Okay, let's get cleaned up and we'll get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove the bunny off of the sign. And I'm just going to be using my X-Acto knife to do that. It will take a little bit of time. You just have to slowly work on it because it's not going to cut through right away for you. But just go ahead and go through and score it. Turn it over and do the same thing on the other side. And then the bunny will come right off. Then just go ahead and take your sandpaper and clean up the edges that you just cut so it's nice and smooth. Okay. 
and there you go and then you can um, just smooth out the area that you cut off on this and you can use this on another project okay so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to stain our bunny you just need to decide which way you're going to want your bunny facing go ahead and put a little bit of the burnt umber in a cup and add some water and go ahead and mix that till it's an even consistency this is one of my favorite tricks is using paint watering it down and then using it like a stain it works very well and I like it because it still shows the grain of the wood Okay, once you have it down, go ahead and put a quick coat onto the bunny. That's another good thing is when you water it down, it goes very quickly. You don't have to worry about wasting any time. Just make sure you get all the edges. And go ahead and take some paper towel and just wipe off any excess. And there you go. That's quick and easy. And it looks great. You can really see all the wood grain. Go ahead and set this aside so it can finish drying. Okay, you're going to need two of the wooden egg ornaments. And we're going to be using this paper. Now, when I did my large egg, I used the same paper pad. So we're going to be using the same type of paper. On one of the small eggs, I'm going to be using this stripe, which I used on my large egg. And then the other one is going to be this floral pattern. Now all of the paper comes out of the same book, even what I used for this egg. If you're not really good at matching patterns and colors together, working from one of the paper pads from Michaels is a really good idea. Everything in this pad is meant to go together. So that way you can go through, you can pull out the patterns and the colors that you want, you can put it together and your project will come out. Okay, so to cover these little eggs, all you want to do is go ahead and turn your decorative paper over, put your egg down, just make sure that the pattern of the paper is going the direction that you want it to. Trace out your egg. And then go ahead and cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and do that for these two eggs. So I have my eggs cut out. I have my little Mod Podge in my cup. Now if your Mod Podge gets too thick, just add a little water to it and shake it up and you're good to go. If you don't have any Mod Podge, you can use like Elmer's glue or uh, the Dollar Tree's jot white glue you just add a little bit of water to it mix it really well and you can use that as well you just want to make sure that if you do use a substitute glue that it says that it dries clear now this paper that i'm using that comes out of the book is nice and thick so you shouldn't have any issues with rippling or anything like that if you're using um like wrapping paper, then you'll want to put the Mod Podge over the top as well because that paper is really thin and it tends to bubble and crease. So just go ahead, you want to get a nice coat. You don't want an excessive amount, but you do want to make sure that you thoroughly cover it. Now these little ornaments are wood and wood does have a tendency to soak up the, the Mod Podge. So just make sure you have a nice amount and go ahead and lay your paper over. 
and get it on there as best you can. Start from the middle and press out. That'll help you remove any excess glue and any air bubbles. Now when I cut my egg out, I did cut it a little bit larger. That makes placement better. I have a little excess, that's okay. We will clean that up when it's dry with some sandpaper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other. Okay, once it's dry, you can go ahead and clean it up. You just want to make sure that you support it. You go around the edges and you want to draw down and away. Just go around all the way around. Now if you're working with thin paper, this will take the paper off really, really easy. If you're working with paper from the pad, it's a little bit thicker. So once you go down and you've got it down, then go ahead and do this and that'll take off the rest of the paper. It's just that the paper bad paper is thicker. And so it needs a little bit more effort to get it off. But this way you get a really beautiful, clean edge all the way around. Okay? Now we're going to go ahead and glue on the large popsicle sticks. This is what we're going to use to stick them down into the foam. Very simple, just add some hot glue and go ahead and put it on. Now the egg has a small top and a wide top. Ooh, excuse me. The egg has a small top and a wider bottom. So make sure that you glue the sticks on the bottom. And do that to the two small eggs, the large egg, and your bunny. And you're also going to want to go ahead and glue on the little bunny tail. Okay? Okay, so I have prepared my container. I just put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom and glued down the foam and then surrounded it with rocks. I like to leave the plastic on my foam. It just keeps things clean. And then you're going to go ahead and place in your eggs and your bunny. And it's up to you how you want to place them. Feel free to play with it a little bit. You may not get your exact placement right off the bat. So just go ahead and put them in until you're happy. Okay, so I like that placement. I have my big egg in the back, the bunny on the side, and then the two little eggs. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in around the bottom with the moss. I just want to cover up the foam and the rocks. I don't want to see that. You don't need to glue it down or anything like that. Just kind of pull it apart and get it in there to fill. One bag should be plenty. If you pull this stuff apart, it fluffs up quite a bit, so it makes it nice and easy to top off a project. Now that was a little less than one full package, and that was plenty to fill it in. Okay, and then I'm also going to use some of these little faux moss rocks. And I'm not going to glue them in, I'm just going to place them in because once Easter is over, I want to be able to easily take this apart and store it. Just a little. 
That way it'll help you to cover up maybe a little bit more of the stems if you still see them. And I think it adds a little bit more of a different dimension. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place in some of my greenery. My wire cutters. So then just decide where you want to place it. Just to add a little bit of greenery. So just go around and place in your greenery and your florals wherever you would like. Just make sure to change up the different lengths and heights to keep it a little bit more interesting. Alrighty, we're all done. Doesn't that look beautiful? I really love all the colors and how it came together. Well, I hope you liked this craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I do upload new content several times a week. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you next time.